This video is a remade video. I created a video about a week ago that might have had a questionable building code issue and chose to remove the video. It's only about the third video I've removed on this particular channel. And after doing a few hours of research, I came to the conclusion that there was a high probability that the individual who suggested the problem was correct. So I went ahead and redesigned the plumbing and moved some of the joist over to make all of this work. Now the reason why I made the other video, the main reason was to focus on this area here where we have the bathtub drain and the toilet along with the blocks we're using to replace the doubler because we would have a difficult time installing a double joist underneath this wall and then running plumbing pipes through it. So we're using the blocks instead. And as always in my videos, I like to make a point that you should always check with your local building codes or building department to verify any of the information in this video. And with the setup that I have right now, I have about nine inches from the wall to the inside of the joist here. And that's going to be pretty tight for most bathtubs. And I know that one of the viewers said there was plenty of room to make this work, even though I'm having a difficult time seeing how that's going to happen. Keep in mind that I draw all of these drawings to scale so I can see if there are any problems. So be aware of this particular problem if you run into a situation where the plumbing is going to be running in this direction or in this direction and the joists are going to be running in this direction or the pipes are going to be running perpendicular to the joist. And again, that's the main reason why I made the other video. And of course, the second reason why I did it was to provide you with another way to run the plumbing drain pipes that should meet most of your local building codes. And in this situation here, we are going to have the toilet drop into a vertical drain pipe that will also be a wet vent that will have a clean out above the floor also. And of course we have a clean out down here. And the reason why we don't have a clean out over here is because you can usually take the plumbing apart for the bathtub drain and then run a snake through that. However, I'm actually going to run this pipe all the way through the roof to provide any plumbers who need to run a snake down the drain with another option instead of coming underneath the house they can always grab a ladder and go up to the roof and run their snake down through there. And of course we are going to have a clean out. The clean out is going to be the same size as our drain pipe. And something like this might not require a clean out. But again, as I've mentioned before in some of my videos, it's cheap insurance. And if you notice the clean out is facing this room and not the back of the toilet, because it really wouldn't make a lot of sense if I had this facing in the other direction and you had to remove the toilet anyway to get to the clean out then you could always run your clean out snake right through this pipe here and you wouldn't really need this and of course our sink drain will die into the wet vent with a sanitary T here we're going to have a two inch vent pipe going through the roof and a two inch pipe going into our three inch clean out three inch on each end three inch pipe here along with a three inch pipe coming off and then 90 up for the toilet and then an inch and a half pipe here for our sink. And if you need to make this pipe longer, you can always make it two inches because an inch and a half pipe can usually only go 42 inches in a situation like this. A two inch pipe can go 60 inches if you need to go a little longer. So let's go ahead and finish our tour of the plumbing here give you an idea of how the vents are coming out. And let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Here we have the drain line going out of the house right here. And I think in one of the other videos, I had it coming out around here somewhere. And please keep in mind that this is not the only way you can install the plumbing for something like this. And I'm not about to suggest that it is the best way to install the plumbing. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the wash machine drain line, two inches going all the way to the drain line here. And then a two inch combo with a one and a half inch fitting coming up for the kitchen sink. And you can always make this two inches coming up to the kitchen sink. And then an inch and a half vent going up, two inch vent going up here. And you can see here in a little bit where we're going to have to notch one of the rafters 
In the same way, we had to notch some of the joist to install our plumbing pipes. Let's go ahead and take another look at the wash machine assembly, drain assembly. And we are going to put a clean out here along with putting a clean out over here. And if you end up with a situation where you're next to the exterior wall like this, then try to position the clean outs to where they're facing the outside instead of the inside. Because if this pipe got clogged up and the water ran up to about here, let's say, and you go to unscrew the clean out cap, the water is going to come out on the outside of the building instead of on the inside of the building. And of course, we are going to have our drain kind of run in a different direction here. It's going to come down here and then 90 and then 90 to the sewer. And next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the vents. And you can see here where we notched into the roof rafter. And that won't be a problem since we have the gable studs supporting the rafter. This would be a problem if we notched into these rafters over here. And of course, the bathroom vents where we can't notch it so we needed to jog around it so we grabbed a couple of 22 degree angle fittings and then changed the direction of the vent pipe so that it wouldn't interfere with the roof framing and the last thing i want to mention again if we have a vent that goes all the way up without a clean out in it and we don't want to crawl underneath the house we can grab a ladder climb up on the roof and run a plumbing snake drain cleaner through these vent pipes as another option. And that brings us to the end of the video. And any questions you have, feel free to leave them in the comment area. And if you have any building code issues with the plumbing, framing, anything in this video, try to provide us with the building code reference numbers.